Well, that's the truth. You guys are busy. You're coming off a big weekend. Yeah. I mean, how many people did you say came through the gate? Through the gate, we had 1,709. Plus, we had people there working the event. So, we probably had 1,800 on the ground. That's crazy. Yeah. Lots of vendors and food trucks. And And events. Events. Yeah, we have. um, So, we start on Thursday. Um, at about noon. So we got there on Tuesday morning, set up Tuesday, Wednesday, have a great group of people coming down. Um, we have a great board right now. Um, and on, we start our events at noon on Thursday. We have a two dog bear bay, two dog hog bay. Um, and then we have um, a UKC bench show on Thursday and a UKC night hunt. So our night hunt was both our bench show and our night hunts this year were phenomenal. Is Numbers. that new this year, or have you guys been doing the It is doing not. This hunts? is about our third year. It's just been growing every year? Yep, just growing every year. So this year on Thursday night, we had more hunters Thursday night than we did all of last year. Oh, that's wild. Yeah. Also on great. Thursday, we did our two field trials. And we had a UKC, we, UKC field trial. Drag, drag race through the woods type so, of deal with a tree at the end. Yeah, that's super similar just, to like what we do out right. west, too. Right. Yeah. So we did a UKC one, and we did an open class. Oh, cool. Just... Because a lot of people don't want to yeah, do a lot of people don't want to do the UKC, UKC stuff or can't yeah. right. like me. I just got back my paperwork. I finally have a registered dog again. <laughs> I got an ex bred coon down now. And I'm yeah. like, because I couldn't even go and hunt with my kids at the one club that we have. You know, all of our dogs are just great foxhounds. But right. Right. with that ex bred program, I'm like, I can do that. You know, I'll pay yeah. my money just so I can take the kids coon hunting right. and stuff. Right. But I, I should probably introduce you guys. So we've got Chris and Sarah. Is it Minor? Minor, yep. I didn't butcher it. Minor, so yeah, you did good. good. You did good. good. And you guys are with the APA. Yep, I'm the president of the APA as of this year. Um, and we have a great board. We have um, our secretary, Lisa Johnson, has been with us for several years. Um, we have a new vice president, Shelby Silver. He's from North Carolina. Um, and our tra- treasurer, Tracy Woodruff. And then we have a great board of directors, um, everybody helping out, Andy Blankenship, Gary Bowen, um, Justin Gurley, and we have John Jackson, which he does our columns. and, and Yeah, he does some writing re- for us on Full Cry, too. He does love seeing it. a great time. So we have a group of people right now that just work amazing together. Yeah. So. And then we have the First Lady. And then we have the, the first, first Lady, lady. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically I'm just, the workhorse. You're the, you're the gopher, the honeydew. The, yep, yeah. Yep, yep. So how much yep. how much work did you have to put in last weekend? Uh, quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. we imagine. do every event, and we like there's a few of us, Justin and Shelby and I do most, and Sarah yeah. do most of the planning for all the events, getting our judges together, sure. getting the bear switched over to from hog to bear. Um, I built a phenomenal roll cage this year that. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Rook, rookane. So I had a coon mounted on a three-quarter inch shaft. Oh, nice. And I put bearings on both ends, so and I had it weighted. So I spent hours jamming lead weights into its legs oh, sure. so, to get it to stand up the whole time when it was being going back and forth. So it never, it'll swing a little bit, right. but it never flips over. Oh, it, no it kidding. It just rocks back and forth, and it's pretty cool. Like, That's I, pretty I spent cool. a lot of time on it. Me and my buddy Troy over there spent a lot of time. It's an excuse to drink beer and build something. Oh, yeah. it, pretty He's much, like, yeah. I'll, be, I'll be back in two hours, and it was like, six hours later, I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> At the but shop it, building it, it stuff. Looks, it turned out really, really good. Her really uncle monitored awesome. for us. He's a taxidermist, so he oh, did the ride. Cool. Yeah, part. Wild Pride Taxidermy, my Tim Schmitz, he did a great job mounting that. And you guys, the Bear Bay, too. What? Mm-hmm. How do you guys do that? So the bear bay, we have uh, the two dog bear bay and three dog bear bay. So it is, um, it's a it's a fake bear. It's a fake bear mounted head, hide. basically a mounted head um, on like a dummy on a, on a, body. Yep. on a barrel on like a 30, 15, 30 gallon barrel, I guess. Oh, okay, yeah. And like then we just got drum. a an eye hook in the back of the barrel, and we run a rod to it. And the and guy just somebody, runs a pole in it. Yep, somebody underneath the curtain, behind the curtain, oh, that's running like the, the bear all the time. Yep. Pretty much, pretty we much. We used like to the have um, mechanical, mechanical one, um, and just when it's cold in the morning, it's we just had a lot of problems with it. It's just it air was cylinders and stuff like way that. Way easier just to have work. somebody just running it manually. No kidding. So uh, we have somebody that's always switching because it's a tiring job. I would imagine that's a just job I would not want. That thing all the time. <laughs> well, it's neat because yeah. the legs are free. 
Oh, so they, so they move. flop. Yep. So okay. that it looks like it's running when you push the bear forward and you hit the end, the yeah, legs the pop out and the dogs just run it backwards. Or or if really? they're good, they're they're right there. You <laughs> That's know? how we find out who wins. Yeah. But well it's just young dogs and you know, stuff like that. You really get them you can get them moving. You can get the dogs entertained in it. Right. Because you can shift the bear from right to left, get their legs flopping and So it must be on like a pivot too. It's, yeah, it's just uh <laughs> it's a uh, a clevis okay on an eye hook basically so gotcha. you can really get it moving and get it get the, arms get the dogs swinging. cruising you know and it, it's fun but it is tiring for the guys they switch off we had 89 two bay bear casts oh wow i yeah. mean it's, it's so long. how do you judge something like that just like the guys dogs that judge stay tight guys judge dogs that stay tight some guys depends on the judge you got like of a them panel will, no we don't have or, we don't it's their way i mean i gave like a young guy a new guy this year gave, came up to me he was like well how do I judge I go me personally I judge dogs that go to both sides of the fence because sure. it's a bear bay one spot. Yeah. it's a bay you're trying to hold the bear in a position right so you want to keep it held tight so if you're both on one side the bear can squirt the other way sure yeah. so working so together teamwork, you're teamwork, yeah, teamwork. I, that's yeah. how I dogs, judge yep. that's how I would do the judging and when I did it in each event we would switch out the judges we never had the same judges on any two events and then we have um, for the winners each day, first through fifth, those dogs get, um, if they're APA memberships or members, go on to the best of the best on Saturday for cash prizes. Um, and two of them can run together. So like we had one dog, you know, that she was in four different casts, but she went with, ran so many times, she could go in that many times with a different dog. Oh, gotcha. And then at that time, then we have five judges that have not judged throughout the whole weekend. They've so not been eyes. down. Fresh eyes. Have not watched the Bear Bays. Um, just to make it fair. Yeah. So No, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. It's I mean, hard to judge. Like, I, I sit there and watch. I'm, I'm there. I'm the gate man. Right. I make sure you're cast 10. And you're coming through. You're right. cast 12. You're coming through. That's how I make sure we keep staying in order. So the guy's back there judging because we have little iPads with you know, numbers on them. Oh, you know, sure. So they got to keep, everybody's got to keep in, in tune. But I sit there and watch them going, man, I, I picked that one for number one. And then <laughs> yeah. five minutes later, I'm like, wait a minute, that I one was number one. one. You know, yeah. like it's tough because it's tough to judge. Cause well, it, and everybody judges a dog, a dog different oh, anyway, correct. right? Correct. Like, I mean, that, that's tough. And they, <laughs> like, I watched, the like guys told my one buddy, I said, when they, I watch the dogs as the bear goes up in the front, the dogs go up. Right. You watch them go up, you watch them come back down. The bear goes to the back of the cage. You go to the back cage. I, you know, you just follow. So is it all in an enclosure then? We have a five foot tall, eight foot long with a V front. So it's got a okay. like a four foot V in the front. Okay. So that they, it's a so half fairly of big. It's wider and then and it, right. funnels down. It did, well, it's a squ- it's down each side with a V in the front like a trailer, like a V front trailer. Okay. And then we got a pipe down the center with a big pulley that we run the bear on the pulley on the top. So oh, it hangs gotcha. off of a keep piece of cable or piece of wire on the top and we just run it back and forth oh. whatever we have that keeps in tune that day cable or wire that doesn't break right <laughs> <laughs> and then it i mean that's pretty cool so you're actually like advancing on dogs like a charge right. or, or you're like yeah, you're you simulating. can charge at them yeah, yeah. you're charging oh, like awesome. a bear so like we had to talk one of the guys that was back there running the bear i'm like you got to get the dogs to see the bear right. they have no clue there's there's dog and scent everywhere, everywhere. in this place i mean you're, you're talking thousand dogs there that's and crazy. people everywhere that you got to they can't even smell that hide that we have in there. We have an actual hide below the bear. Right. With some scent on it just to make sure that we got everything. And I yeah, said, so you got to start moving that thing to get them to, to, get, their to, to get their attention get span yeah. going, you know. And as soon as they get that, then we turn them loose and it's 30 they, seconds. I mean, because I know I've talked with a lot of guys like you've seen that robotic bear and stuff like that they're like my dogs probably wouldn't even do anything right. do a lot of dogs we have not some that want to correct. or is some, it pretty much yeah some. my There's, old male doesn't want anything to do with it really and yeah. he's an awesome bear awesome dog bear. like i i'm not i'm not gonna say he's but not then good we have awesome bear dogs that you wouldn't think they'd be interested and in, they're all over that thing yeah right. yeah so you know there's some people that don't want to come they just don't think in their head that their dog would have any interest and it ends up that they Surprising yep them. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of times when people bring, you know, six, eight dogs, they'll think two were going to work together because they work together in the woods. Right. And then there, they, they don't. So they're, they're constantly sure. swapping. They, they're re-entering dogs, just switching the pairs Trying up until they find the two. Trying to find the combination. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So 
I mean, that's a long list of events. Long list of events. And you guys run it, it's just the weekend for Thurs- Friday, Saturday? Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So Thursday we start at noon, and then all day Friday and all day Saturday. So let's let's kind of run through, like, the events okay. at, at the APA. It's breed days, right? That's what you guys... Breed days. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yeah, okay. so any any breed of dog, we welcome. Oh, really? I thought it was just a plot not, thing. Nope, oh. not just plots. Oh, we have lockers, blue lockers, ticks, blue ticks. red ticks. Uh, I won't say poodles, but uh, cur dogs. Yep. I mean, there's, still there's, have the cur dogs in. <laughs> there's a <laughs> arrangement of different dogs there, and people are bringing in whatever they got. And yep. Oh, wild. It, it's it's fun. It's, it's fun for everybody, and we're well, not discriminating to anybody. Too. It's just more everybody have a good time and talk and screw around and yeah. Yeah. have fun. So, But as these bear bays are going on, we have a coon tree going on. We have a bear tree going on. There's a, there's different events going on at the same World time. Oh, so UKC you- bench, yeah, to get everything to fit in. Some of them have to overlap a little bit. Oh, sure. So this year, um, our coon tree and bear tree were kind of a little bit far away. So this year, we brought it closer to the lodge because there were a lot of people that want to do both. Oh, sure. You know, so then they they are able to walk that distance so they can do try not to overlap bear bay and bear tree. tree. So we try to flip them. You know, because a lot of the, like, we won't put ours on a coon tree, mm-hmm. you know, so then we do the bear bay and You don't want to walk through a coon tree? No. no. <laughs> I've walked through many swamps no. in Wisconsin for a coon. Yeah, but it's a little I, different when you got to walk But through. then there's, you know, our coon treeing event is huge. So, So, yeah. do you guys do a water race? We too? do a water race on also Friday, on Friday. Friday, we do a UKC water race and then an open water race. And that's huge. Um, that's great cool. turnout this year. Um, and then we also do a dash race. What's a dash so, race? Dash race. We um, have UTVs. Speed. Speed. You put them in okay. and on top of the hill, and you let them go. See how fast they can. They, it's hard because you, you turn run. the dogs loose. We wait. We take the bear hide, shake it in front of the. We have a gate, four sure. dog gate, that opens up with one handle. Oh yeah. yeah. So and they each have it. a colored collar on, so the judges know. No, and we have paddles, dog. so they can. So tell it's us first line, first, first line, tree, first just tree. like any other thing. Okay. But we take off with the four wheeler. And you get about halfway across the field, and then we open a dog box. Oh, and they take off just after it just because we got to give them time to to get stopped by the bear tree and, and throw the hide it back the into the. No, we they use the same hide. We throw it in the back of the four wheeler. We have a, a rubber main container so they can't see it. Oh, sure. And then there's a bear in the tree. Gotcha. And then we pull the bear up the tree Dang. so they can see it. Yeah, and it, so first line and first tree. So a lot of the times you have two different winners on one race. Right. And then you keep running it down until you have the final two. Because I thought about doing that. Last year, I did um, just kind of a rendezvous. We didn't want to do a field trial, but I used one of our, our clubs there in Oregon. They they hosted it, and we just worked together. But I told them, I really want to do a sprint race. Because everybody talks about how Everyone fast loves them. Is. That is one of our most popular events. How long of a, of a sprint is it? A couple hundred yards? Probably 250, 200? 300 yards. That's what I was thinking, like something under 400 yards. Oh, like, yeah. And just like make it fast. Because I mean, some of those dogs are running four or five times in that amount of time. Sure. You have so many, you know, semifinals to get down to the final. We used to do it, well, we always do it right in front of the lodge. Mm-hmm. But because of the rain, because then people could watch from, oh, yeah. from the lodge, because there's a big awning, I want to call it a big overhang, and yeah. people sit below Porch. it. And so under the rocking range. chairs and mm-hmm. everything. But it's, it's fun. I mean, that's where everybody hangs out. And they do it right in front of there. But this year, because of the rain, we didn't want to rip up their front lawn. Oh. So we moved it over on the field where we do the water race. But we still had yeah. probably 100 and some people come to watch. That yeah. didn't yeah. even. Yeah. Our, didn't even ev- it was the in, same is that your biggest entry for that sprint race? Um, sprint race. Well, I think the Bear Bays the bear are bays our biggest are our entry. Biggest. Yeah. But, um, I mean, we had, I want to say, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, I think we had 48 dogs in that dash race this year. Wow. Like, and we didn't think we'd get enough people to drive out because you have to drive. So we're at the Oaks Retreat in Greenville, Tennessee. Amazing grounds. But the pond, you have to drive out to it. And, yeah, we had that field full on Saturday. Saturday was a lot of fun. Right. Well, Friday and Saturday because we yeah. did the water race and then we did a dash race after it right at the same Oh, spot then because sure. we just stayed over there and then saturday we went back over there again and did the, the dash race because it didn't dry up any yeah and it was, it was like what wet. do we do i don't want to wreck their lawn you right. know right. it's it's tough we don't want to go, be go back right do you guys do it at the same place every year we have been at the same place i believe this was our eighth year at the oaks um just a great group of people to work with there's a new manager this year his name is aaron and 
Um, we just we had a good time. We worked well together, and we rent the grounds, so we have cabins on site, um, and some motel rooms. Oh, kinda. really? Yeah, and some RV spots. So they fill up pretty quickly. But so. I mean, that's nice to see when you can work with a lodge or something oh, like yeah. that. Like the El- the Elk Creek Field Trial, where I'm always at when you guys are having your event. It's the same weekend every year. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> they've they've had that field trial at that same ground since like 1980 something oh yeah you know the families just always let us go there and use it and it's nice it's Mm -hmm. nice to see people not just you know turn the shoulder to you yeah you know yeah they've been really good to us um it started out the first couple years where you know they were doing the food and stuff um and it was you know um the older ladies from the church just doing breakfast lunch and then we just kept growing and growing that's and cool. it came a little bit too much which was actually okay because now we're bringing in food trucks we have tennessee bear hunters association that puts on an amazing breakfast every morning everybody oh, cool. looks forward to it everything homemade um and then they also do our um membership dinner on friday night oh nice. so they put that on so tennessee bear hunters is a huge help for us there that's so cool. yeah how so how big is your guys's organization so we have every year we average between i would say 460 and 480 uh paying memberships per year so we seem to be up a little bit uh this year we've had a couple great events um so a little bit more advertising than what we used to do um plot hounds are hot right now too it seems like that helps it it definitely helps (laughs) i know like when when clay was launching those those stories and yeah plot like i i started hunting with a group of guys so my buddy got me into it and he's like hey you want to come run dogs with us because we my family we baited like we never ran dogs but we lost all that in 94 so fast forward my buddy says hey you want to come run dogs with us in california and i'm like heck yeah and i saw my first bear in a tree and i'm (laughs) like yeah Yeah, that's it's over now (laughs) here's adrenaline but you know he he worked for himself and you know he'd hunt on like a (laughs) tuesday or you know whatever he could get out and i'm like i'm stuck to hunting weekends (laughs) and you know driving in california to go hunt but his uncle's the one who really like kind of took me under his wing and really encouraged me but he's a plot man like he hunts everything because there's not there's not a ton of good plots out there but he's like he's a plot man and i keep telling him like we should go back yeah if he if i could get him on an airplane i would love (laughs) to bring him back and go have some fun even here like Mm -hmm. For everybody who's listening, the background noise is the WBHA, the Wisconsin Bear Hunters Association banquet, and it's starting to, it's fuller than it was this morning. Yeah. I think that snow Together. kept a lot of people out this well, morning. Well, everybody's hunting this morning. Yeah. <laughs> you guys haven't got anything for snow out here, I no. know for sure. So when they get snow, everybody's going. Yeah, they're all going. But doing cat or coyote hunting, coyote right? Because right. yeah. cats are hard to draw. I think cats draw. closed right now, I think. I, can't, I don't even know for sure. I'm not a big cat hunter, so but I, I know they did cat hunt when they had snow, and right. I don't know. Yeah. what the season is but um but you guys i mean you ran straight from that to here yeah you so we got home wiped. sunday it's about a 12-hour ride <sighs> and then we uh restocked and spent all week restocking the trailer and well, you guys sell a redoing everything sure. <laughs> that's what we were joking about on the way up here it's like kind of the long-running joke between w and yep. apa right. i'm like, like i'm gonna be right next to w <laughs> right who, who who has the most shirts running around and it pretty much is it's funny i think like right. the two of us mm-hmm. outweigh everybody oh, yeah. here, yeah. even the wbha right. yeah. it's always apa shirts or w shirts running yeah. around. so yeah, it's so ongoing right. we always uh sell so much at breed day so we, I ordered a little bit more this year, so we were heavily stocked coming in here. We came so. up here last year with 21 extra large and large sweatshirts. Yeah, because mm-hmm. our Cause three days was so big Three days was year. huge, and we right. were out, and you we know. can't get them that fast. Like, yeah. we have, we don't print <laughs> like uh, W does, so yeah. we, we, ours are all made. So I'm like, we, we're screwed. You know, right. We came up here and screwed <laughs> last time year. time kills you. And yeah. we still had a record-breaking year last year. Yeah, here. That's uh, awesome. Yeah, it was it's amazing. It's every year. It just gets better and better, and mm-hmm. it's great. But what do you guys put yeah. those funds towards? Like, what is the big your guys's mission and what you guys do so our mission that. um is to help hunting groups or like you know tennessee bear hunters or we help maine um you know when when any state is going to be in trouble you know we're there to back them up sure. um you know anything to keep the keep hunting alive yeah. you know getting the youth out there hunting um you know we want to team up with um, ussa you know getting kids out in the woods that's what our hunting group does 
sure. personally. You know, th the biggest thing right now is, I believe, to get the youth involved. Yeah. Um, you can tell here, you can tell at breed days, the majority is that teenage group yeah. that's coming out. They all got their hunting rigs. Yep. They all have their dogs. And that's who we need to cater to. I agree. And that's what I love about out here is like, I mean, you look around and there is a ton Young. of kids. All these kids. I mean, and they're kids. That, I mean, I started coming out here when I came to work for W seven years ago. Mm -hmm. So now a lot of those kids are now, like you're saying, they're yeah. 16, 18. Yep. They're in that younger generation and they're on fire for hunting, yep. you know, and dogs. So it's, it's super important. I mean, the youth, yeah. I get a hammer at home all day long. But yeah. I mean, that's like the thing. If we don't keep youth involved... And that's what we did at Breed Days also. We have a youth bear bay. It's free to enter. Um, you know, and it, it's fun to watch the teenage kids help the little kids right. get those dogs. And we had, I know four personally, kids that just wanted to enter. They didn't, their family doesn't have doesn't dogs. Hunt, doesn't. And there were some of our kids that said, well, you can use one of our dogs Isn't and watch nice? them go in. Right. And they, um, Chuck Thompson donated a whole bunch of different, uh, or little trophies so uh -huh. every single kid got a trophy it said you know oh, cool. breed days youth bay and to watch the the smiles when we listed off the winners first through fifth place for you know that event there is a little boy standing there and he won and he's like that's me <laughs> it's like that made the whole weekend it was rainy and it didn't even matter at that point we're like that it, was just awesome it sticks with them so much like oh, my yeah. wife and i we've got four kids now and our big thing is, like, we're experienced people. Like, it's not so much stuff. Like, you have yeah. a million toys, whatever. Like, yep. But when I can drag my four-year-old at the time to the woods, and we're sitting on this cut bank, and he, looking out over, you know, we're from the Pacific Northwest. Big canyons, massive timber country. And he says, Dad, can you hear that? Mm, and I said, what, yeah. what do you mean? He's like, listen. I'm listening. And he says, I love the sound of the wind. Oh my gosh! And I'm like, I got goosebumps I right was, now. You just, I was going to say that. I but got it's goosebumps. like those, those stick so much more with kids than anything else. The experience and something oh, yeah. like that, and you're tying it with a dog that's part of you know everybody yep. knows what a dog is, whether yep. they own one or not, and it's that bond. Yep. I think that's really really cool. And another thing that you're teaching the kids too. I mean, ours have obviously been since they were born. You know, been around dogs, but then they also know if the dog isn't working out, we might have to rehome it. Like, right. it's giving them the responsibility and um, just the knowledge. Right. You know, that not everything works out, you know, and, and but you're making another family happy because that would be a great coon dog. Exactly. We're not coon hunters, but he's a good coon dog. So you're seeing, you know, it's it's the kids being able to differentiate that is which is, makes them I, grow up a little bit faster, but, but I think, I think that's it makes them better people that too. We offer to kids that most people can't. Right. Because same situation, you know, you get a dog that's not going to make it for me as a fox dog. Doesn't mean it's not going to make a dog for somebody. Absolutely. Yep. So it's instilling that you know to do right by that dog. Yeah. It needs to go somewhere else, right. or it's yep. going to sit here and it, you know you don't build the relationship with them like you do the dogs right. that are working the way that you like them yep. to. It's a weird, it's, weird. it's a weird place it's to weird, be from the outside. It's a good thing for kids to understand too. It's super helpful. Oh, how old's that little one? She oh, was Chloe Rose. No, she was. She was three. six weeks old there. Yeah, first bear tree. Yeah, first, first bear tree. Six weeks yep. old. I just That's had to show awesome. you that picture because it yeah, brings yeah. about. It's pretty cool. She's almost three. That so, is so, awesome. So, oh, that's a lot of kids. That's, that's what <laughs> yeah, we do. We have as many kids. kids as we can bring along. And we bet big into the USSA this, this last four so years. So what's the USSA? I've heard you say that. United Special Sportsman's Alliance. So they beer delivery and everything? I got Jeez, a beer you deliver. guys got it all together. I get a delivery. <laughs> so the uh, United Special Sportsman's Alliance is special needs kids. Okay. Um, most of them, some of them don't even see their bear mount. Mm -hmm. I mean, when they shoot the bear, they get to come along and they get to do it. I mean, it, to me, it's it's a big bad, I don't want to call it big bad bear hunters that uh -huh. we are with no hearts, everybody thinks, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Big old but teddy bears. Big, but we're big teddy bears when it comes down yeah. to that because it changed our whole hunting group. Our whole hunting group, that's all they want to do is take kids now. That's like awesome. Like we went from everybody wanting a bear and everybody wanting to do this to what, how many kids have we got this year? So we took two again this See, year. that's... But I think that's why, like, I love doing it with the kids. I love, and I, my kids don't get to hunt very often because I hunt at night and 
they got to go to school. I, I mean, yep. stuff like that. Right. But I think I relate more with a kid because that same feeling that they get, like as houndsmen, we all get that every time we turn a dog loose. Mm-hmm. It's not right. like you're sitting out in a field waiting for a deer to walk yep. by. You know, it's like I relate a lot with those kids. So, I mean, I try to do the youth events. We do a veterans hunt with the houndsmen for that's heroes great. every year. And yeah. That's what people need to see, you know, yep. and our listeners on this podcast, I mean, they're all in it. I, yeah. I would say the majority are all houndsmen. They right. understand and, it. And that's the APA did that last year. Um, we had a special veterans T-shirt. So the proceeds went oh, strictly cool. to um, the Fallen Soldiers. Uh, it's a group that takes veterans on hunts. Um, so we donated to their group. Awesome. Um, so that that's special. Yeah. That we try to support whatever we can. So how many... I got to ask, how many shirt designs do you guys have? <laughs> too many right it's now. It's ridiculous. <laughs> too many. Like they got yeah, the, I'll lay it out for people listening. They're, they're shoved in a corner back here right next to W, but it's like this big L, and they got yeah. the whole corner decked out. You guys got your yeah. like, displays. You, like, every yeah, year, you guys got it a little set bit. up. We're you just a roll them in, open it up, and you're ready yeah. to rock and We're roll. We're getting a little smarter every year with it. So. Well, that happens because yeah. when and people show up here, that help and- it's just money. <laughs> like people when they're in here like tomorrow i i hope is crazy like it yeah. usually is i yep. mean it's flying off the shelves you guys call a pile of we swag sell a lot yeah. yeah we sell about half what we do at breed days and you know i mean breed days we're we're selling you know twenty five thousand dollars worth of merchandise that's crazy you know and and here last year we did half of that which is crazy to do in a day and a half yeah, right. But that's why everybody's like, you have a lot of people here to help you sell. I'm like, yeah, tomorrow we'll Because when it. people come, it's yeah. all at once. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. you can't usually walk, especially with you guys next to us. Yeah. This whole side of the building, it's like you can't even walk. They're stacked 10 yeah. deep and just hanging it's out. It's great. This uh, community of people can ask for any better. Any better. That's the truth, too. Yeah. So all of your guys' stuff yep. and memberships, things like that, where can mm-hmm. people find you? Uh, we have a website. It's www.americanplotassociation.com. Um, right now, the store is down just because I have it closed just because Inventory. we are just at different shows. And to have it mailed out, we just don't, you know, don't have it open. So it'll be open the second week of April. Um, but our memberships are online. All of our clothing is online. Um, so and then we'll also be taking ads, our yearbook, our Brindle book, I should say. Um, 2022 and 2023 is going to be combined. It is being printed right now, so I'm hoping it's going to be mailed out in the next couple weeks. Cool. Um, and then we'll start taking ads and um, stories. Get ready for and next year. And everything for next year. <laughs> so hopefully we'll have that, you know, done earlier um, and get that out at the first of next year. So, um, yeah, so just keep moving along. So we'll have uh, a week off for Easter, and then we'll be in Rapid in Virginia for the Dixie Classic at the Orange County Coon Club. So we'll be out there. It's a one-day event. We'll have uh, the Bear Bay and a tree and contest, a dash race, and then they have their big UKC a specialized coon mm-hmm. um, bench show and then the UKC bench show there. So it's a one-day event in Virginia. We'll be out there for it. They have a lot water race, too. They have a water oh, and they have a water race. Have a water the race. longest Whoa. water race I've ever seen a dog swim. It's, How far it do you is think long. it is? I don't know. It's like... What's standard out here? I don't really know what standard is, I guess, like but 100, 100 yards. yards is a good water race. Yeah. And yeah. I want to say this one's closer to 200 yards. Oh, yeah, because I, mean, I looked and like, rough. our dogs won't swim. <laughs> They're going to go right to the bank and run around. The worst <laughs> part is they get halfway and then they turn around and it's like, it's the same, same distance, bro. Just, just keep rolling. <laughs> but they see land to the, to the yeah. side. You know, oh, it's I, a narrow park. My dogs know. were trained. As soon as they saw like any of that, what is it, the orange barrier right. you know, oh, yeah. the mesh barrier they yep. see that and they just know that's land and we're just gonna right. duck out <laughs> i did want to go back uh my buddy that i bred to my female mm-hmm. james jenkins bullet is a phenomenal dog like the best and we he brought him down to breed days just to show him off because he's 13 oh geez and mm-hmm. we just bred to him this year there you know 13 year old plot still alive still hunting right and still being able to breed Sure. I mean, honestly, this is amazing that we got a leather litter of pups oh, yeah. out of him. And we had seven pups out of him and whatever. He Holy brought him cow. to he brought him to breed days and we put him in a bear bay with our dog. With one of ours, because he didn't bring any other dogs. He just right. brought him up there just for fun. And he did amazing. 
like for a 13 year old dog to work that bear bay like it we talked about earlier how some dogs do it and some dogs don't right and this dog just does what he needs to do it doesn't at the like time. at the time right whatever daddy tells him to do that's what he's doing that's i mean that's so how he awesome. is he's just amazing i watch him work one side of a bank the other side of the bank on the off a of rig strike you know and just right. work it back and forth and we just wait a couple of minutes, and when he takes off going up or down, whichever way he decides to go, pack onto it because he's not wrong. Right. He's never been wrong. Like, I've just never seen a dog dogs. be wrong. He's just amazing. and That's hard to find. But yeah. it was just cool to, to, to watch, watch him do the – I didn't – he's never done – I mean, 10 years ago, 8 years ago, he had him at breed days doing stuff, you know, right. when he was younger and, you know, in this stuff. He was a great water racer oh, yeah. back in the day. But, like, he hasn't been there for years that – at doing some, I was like, "Why do you have bullet here?" He goes, oh, "We're going to enter him." I'm like, "We're going <laughs> to enter him." He goes, "Yeah, throw a dog with him. We're going to have some fun." It's like, okay, awesome. this, it was yeah, this cool. We had a good time. But that t- says a lot about your event too, because, like, if you can show up and just hang out and have a good time, that's yeah. why I usually have one dog I'll enter in a trial. The rest of mine, they just don't. They they mm-hmm. don't want to run the scent. We hunt at night. They don't want to run the daylight. I don't know. Maybe I just don't work them enough. Like if I worked with them, maybe they would. Right. But I always put something in. Right. You know, yeah. it's about supporting the clubs. And, right. you know, my kids, they have a blast oh, going. Yeah. and They just want to turn a dog loose. Yep. That's all they care about. Yep, they well, want to stand at that fence and say, that's my dog. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. Before we started this, we didn't do any field trials. Nope. I've never done really? a field trial in my life. And we went down to breed days and brought a couple of dogs just to bring them. Right. And my girls got into it. Now it's like every year. Yeah. We got to take more dogs. And, you know, it's a there's a standing trophy goes. between a couple of us. Of who's going to spend most money at the event? Sure. You know, like <laughs> like <laughs> spending six hundred dollars. Spending six hundred dollars on events is nothing for me and that's crazy. a couple of us. There's three yeah. of us. But that there's a lot of out. events. Like for right. us, you know, you enter the coon drags or you'll enter the fox race. You know, couple events. But if you guys are running bench shows, water races, mm-hmm. field trials, it's bays, expensive. there's tree people contests, that are spending like, over a thousand dollars just in different events, putting their dogs in. I mean, when you have the dogs and they're they're working good. Yeah, you know, it's, fire, it's hard going. to not do it yeah, no <laughs> when you're kidding. there. Yeah. But I mean, like this year, our dogs were not doing anything and, and my girls knew it and they're like, I'm not even entering. I'm saving them. my money. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and and which is good that they know that. You but, know, but the fact that you guys are open to public too, like yeah. you don't have to bring a dog. No. You can go and enjoy it. And I'm sure there's a lot of well, and, a lot of good people there. And the way you could tell that is like last year and this year, we've had record attendance. But our bays were completely the like numbers. There wasn't anything off the charts this year, which means that there it's are so public. many people coming in to watch. You know the vendors. You know just the fellowship. Around. That's almost more exciting. Yeah. To like to me, the more that we can branch out into general yeah. population, right. hunting public, whatever. Like mm-hmm. we all know what this is about, but yeah. the education and trying to break those barriers. Which it's changed a lot in the last couple of years. Like a lot of this media has taken off. Oh, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. hounds are getting a lot of publicity right now, and not in the way that they used to, where it was the right. big bad bear hunter. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. So it's nice to see that transition and over because, yeah. like Grand American, I'd never been. I went to Autumn Oaks a couple of years, but my wife has never been to a big event. So we went out to that one, and I mean, we're driving down the interstate, and there's a billboard. Right. This is, you know, Grand American Coon Hunt. Where we're at, literally, you get an yeah. Onyx pin with a Latin longitude, <laughs> and you find it. And you either know somebody that's there, or, you know, people are going through and, like, vetting who's there because we have to deal with so many antis oh, and gosh, people just yeah. there <laughs> causing right. problems. We're at such a different way of life out here. I mean, it. Yeah. It makes I mean, it you guys still have, reconsider. You still have people that want to do that, but I think the majority is not. And you guys, you know? it, it's more of a family event. Oh, right. absolutely. You know, where those field trials and stuff like we do, that's the same way. That's what we all get together and we turn our kids loose for two days. Pretty much. Right, pretty much. Yep. Right? Yep. It's like, you're not worried. Nobody's going to run off with your kid. Because yep. if they do, that guy's going to get to him or that guy's <laughs> yeah. going to get to him or I'm going to get to him. Exactly. You know, it's just, you can let them be kids. You can yep. let them go enjoy it. And it's like, in today's world... That says a lot yeah. to me as a parent, like being able to go out and just let mm-hmm. somebody truly enjoy and see joy on their faces is yeah, what it's all about. Like my kids would made a post on Facebook when we're leaving and they're like, 
the, the best the best week of our lives is over every year and i'm like oh i love it that they love it but it does go fast we're, yeah we're busy we're working every day and it, it flies and then by it's like what happened yeah well, well they've become yeah. so much our my youngest 10 year old her best friend is sierra one of the vendors daughters down there yeah and they, oh, but they've they grown up day. together oh but, really but oh, they're yeah, they there talk every one day. week a year together for they the last see each 10 other. years and they just awesome. grew up together and they're on the phone together every night. It's just, they learn that. Um, by oh, 16, yeah. when my daughter turned 16, she drove to North Carolina to go to hunting go with her to. friends. That's yeah. awesome. And everybody's like, you're letting your 16 year old drive? And I'm like, uh, yep. Dad, yeah. show me how to change a tire yep. and I'll be good. I'm like, okay, here you go. Hey, you're raising them right, man. <laughs> And the second year after that, the next year after that, they gave her such a hard time because she came down with no northern dogs that she brought two dogs the next year. Oh, there you and go. And they did great. And so it's like we got <laughs> dad got a pat on the back for that one. That's you know, awesome. That we yeah. got to take our dogs down there and show them how they could run in the mountains. Yeah, she and they put could. Her, uh, the two air freight kennels in the back of her little escape. Oh, perfect. <laughs> she drove down there with her dogs. The confidence that dogs build in kids <laughs> is unreal. I, I yeah. think like like that. Like what sixteen right. year old girl in right. You know, she's a little petite. The country. I mean, she's not a. She's a little petite girl too. Like right. she's tiny. And, <laughs> you know, oh, she's, yeah. I can't she had her pepper spray. Yet. She had everything she needed. I'm she's like, geared <laughs> up. Like, yeah. but I mean, yeah. think about kids today that don't. I mean, never been out of town. I got buddies, kids yeah. that are like 18 years old and didn't have a driver's license. Yeah. Like right. what? What are you talking about, yeah. man? <laughs> like, oh, she she had her car bought before she was 16. Right. She was ready to rock and roll. But I mean, yeah. it is how you raise them too. Like yeah. you need to be able to empower them. To be able to make choices and and write one so well and i think what we do with these dogs it just yeah. it instills a lot of value in yeah. the youth you yeah. know and it gives them confidence responsibility and, well confidence even just turning them loose like when yep. my kids do get to go <laughs> you turn them loose they're running everywhere the dogs can go yep. if you let them you know yeah. it's the middle of the night they don't care you go hang out with other people, and it's like my kid's afraid of the dark. It's like, right. <laughs> yeah, <right>. what? <laughs> like, send them out with me for a week, man. We'll go, we'll go have some fun, and they'll come back cured. <laughs> yeah. Well, good that's on awesome. you guys. I know that's a lot of work, but I've always wanted to make it to the event. One of these years, you I'll will. make it. That's I, fun. Yeah, I will it's make a good it. time. It's a great time. You would not be disappointed. I'm sure. I've so. taken numerous people down, and like, just come along and see what we do. Watch, right. you know, just. Because they don't know what we do. Then like, they got dogs. They hunt next with year. us. Well, they always help us at home, and I'm like, you should see like what you're helping for. <laughs> right. I'm like, come on down. But and then you do, and then they're then they're hooked. Then they're, then hooked. they're hooked. I'll bet. Yeah. yeah. And they're hooked. Well, so where can so. people find you again? So uh, www.americanplotassociation.com, and all of our information, membership, store. Um, you can even contact us there. My phone number is on there. I'm Sarah Miner. Um, Justin Gurley is also. Um, listed on the web page. He lives in North Carolina. Um, he's on our board. And any questions, you can just just let us know. Or any, even any um, opinion or like um, suggestions. Like definitely, we are open to anything that makes it better and um, for everyone. So well, hopefully, everybody checks you guys out. I yeah. know you're doing a lot of good. Thank well, you. Thank you. Nice thank you. Thanks for having growing. us. Oh, yes. anytime. We'll. Uh, yeah. We gotta get back to the t-shirt yeah. sell-off here. T-shirt sell-off. <laughs> we'll see who wins this year. <laughs> well, thank you guys. Thank I you. really appreciate, appreciate it. it. All right, thank you.